Well, hey folks, this is John with Ozarks Back Roads with you. Uh, we're out in the Ozarks as usual today. Uh, today we're on the mighty uh, CF Moto, our Ibex 800T. We've got it out in uh, north central Arkansas. Uh, we're just outside of a little town called Calico Rock, Arkansas. So we're going to spend the day down here riding around uh, in the woods along the White River. Uh, it's a large river that runs through uh, Oh, Missouri and down into Arkansas. Right now we're at a little spot called uh, City Rock Bluff. We're just outside of Calico Rock, Arkansas, maybe three or four miles. We're overlooking the, uh, the White River. We've got a beautiful view up here. Well, we'll take a walk up onto the bluff and uh, maybe fly the drone up there and get some pictures. It's a really beautiful spot. And then there's an old road that runs down uh, quite a few miles down along the, the White River that I've never been on. I found it on a map. It's a dirt road. So we'll ride that road from Calico Rock down to Allison uh, along the White River. It should be really beautiful. So stick around. We'll mount up on the mighty CF Moto. We'll take a ride here near Calico Rock, Arkansas. So we've got the mighty Ibex out with us today, our uh, Ibex 800T, our CF Moto. Uh, we've got it out on some dirt roads here in, uh, in northern Arkansas, and we got it all dirty. That's all right. There's a car wash on the way home. We'll run up here and take a look at, uh, take a look at the White River here. All right. Here we are on top of the bluff here overlooking the river. Really beautiful spot. Got some, you can see some more of the bluff that we're up on top of right over here. It's a big area of high bluff over the uh, White River. We're just outside of Calico Rock, Arkansas, not too far out of town here. As a matter of fact, you can actually see uh, Calico Rock, Arkansas off in the distance. That's the, the old town right there on the river. It's just a beautiful, beautiful view right here. I love to stop in here. You can see the river valley down through here and the, the farms. There's a big hay field, big bottom field right here. Looks like they're cutting hay in right now. Getting a second cutting for the season. We've had a little rain. So we'll get the drone up and take a look at these, uh, these bluffs along through here. They're really pretty. Had a pretty good look at the uh, the overview there on the White River at the City Bluff Overlook here at Calico Rock. We're just south of town a few miles here. We'll go in and uh, back to Calico Rock and then we will get on our, uh, our road that runs down along the White River. It's quite a few miles down to Allison from Calico Rock and it runs all along the White River. It should be really pretty. And this is the big bridge over the river right here. 
This is the White River. It's pretty big down here. We're getting quite a ways downstream. It's not small. I think this little burger joint right here between the buns, when I get done and come back through this way later, that's probably where I'm gonna have lunch. I've eaten there before and it's not bad. Little mom and pop joint, it's pretty good. So this is a little bit of the old part of the old town here. Should be some old, pretty old homes in here. This town's got a lot of history. It's been here a long time. This was a, uh, a river town back when they had the, the paddle boats, the steam boats and stuff. Why they'd come up river and this was about as far as they would go. There's a set of rapids on upstream a few miles. So they really couldn't go much farther up. They would stop here and that's how this town came to be. It was a river town, a stop on the river, uh, the highest point that the steamboats could get on the White River. And that was way back in the early 1800s, 1820s or something. When they started doing, might even been before that, I don't know. But I know this little town of Calico Rock's been here a long time. No trucks, low clearance ahead. What do we got? Uh, probably the railroad. Maybe we got a, uh, we go under the railroad tracks or something here. So I haven't been out on the CF Moto much. I've been traveling a, li traveling a little bit on the Tiger since I got back from uh, my trip out west earlier this summer. CF Moto has been in the garage on the battery tender for about, I don't know, probably a month and a half to two months. I don't think I've ridden it. So it's high time we uh, got out and a little stream there. Got out and did some exploring with it. It's what I bought it for. Man, this thing is so comfortable. It's about an hour and a half or an hour and 45 minutes down. Well, it may be two hours down here from the world headquarters. This thing just makes that trip a breeze. No discomfort at all. Really nice. This no doubt is our low clearance and it is the railroad. This is the railroad trussle here over the road. 11 feet, one inch. I think I'll make it. Nice bottom field. The river is just on the other side of that field right there. On the other side of that tree line. And then the old railroad line is right here on my left up against the bluff over here maybe a train will come by while we're here so this road here is uh, uh, this is the road that was here that was used to travel uh, down river before the main highway over here was built so this, this road's pretty old. Uh, probably goes back into the early 1800s at least, and maybe even into the 1700s. Uh, people have been coming up the rivers here in the Ozarks. The oldest settlements are along the rivers, and this is the, ma this is the major artery. The biggest river that comes up in the Ozarks is the White River right here. They've been coming, uh, people have been traveling up this river a long time, well back into the 1700s. It was all Indian territory uh, back then. It wasn't even owned by the United States. But after the, uh, uh, the, the Louisiana Purchase in, in 1801 or two, uh, this was part of it, Arkansas. That's when the settlers really started coming in, the early 1800s after the Louisiana Purchase. So it wouldn't surprise me if this road wasn't, uh, wasn't here, wasn't used then. Yeah, the Ibex is really a nice bike to travel on. And on that uh, two and a half week trip I took out west on this thing, I was loaded down. I had all of my camping gear. I mean, I was heavy. This thing was a blast. 
It was not hard to ride. It didn't get all super top heavy and try to fall over every chance it got. Uh, it was still pretty decent to maneuver in parking lots and slow speed wasn't that bad. A lot better than the Tiger as far as uh, carrying a load and being able to handle the bike, this thing's a lot better. This bike's also a lot more comfortable on the highway to ride long distances. I rode 10 hour days on this, had absolutely no problem whatsoever. Uh, the seat's good, the ergonomics is spot on, uh, the cruise works good, it's got excellent wind protection. Oh, what do we got here? Got a one, uh, a one lane bridge. Whew. Oh boy, we're up in the air on this one. Yes, sir. Beautiful. This isn't the current river. This is a major creek or the White River. But it's heading, it's heading into the White River. The direction it's traveling. This is beautiful. Big old bluff up there. Really nice. And wouldn't you know it, somebody comes along when I'm gawking off the bridge. I'm going to see if I can get a picture. Really pretty. Check it out. Big rock bluff down here. Just gorgeous. We are way up in the air on this bridge. Big high bridge. Looks like it was built about a hundred years ago. <laughs> but man, oh man, what a view. That is beautiful. That bluff down there is really, really something. That would be nice to stand under. I would say. And this is the downstream side. It's heading towards the White River, just a, right around the bend, I'd say. The river's just right around the corner there. So this is about the end of it. I don't know what creek this is, but it's pretty. What a beautiful road. This thing has just been great. Look at all these mailboxes. How many people live here on this one little road? Eighteen thirty. Right there. The old county seat was right there, evidently for Izzard County. There was probably quite a few people in, in this country in 1830 uh, coming off the river up here, uh, probably getting land grants from the government, free land, homesteading they call homesteaders. Had a lot of that going on back in those days. Come here and get some free uh, bottom land along the uh, current, or the White River. Woo. You'd be set for life. A great, great grandfather and a four times great grandfather that I know of, and they all uh, got land grants, uh, free land from the government. My, uh, I'm trying to think, my three times great got uh, 245 acres along the uh, Tennessee River they're at Nashville, Tennessee, uh, back in the uh, 17, I don't know, 1780s, I think. He got free land. He was granted that. He uh, fought in the Revolutionary War and re uh, signed up three times, re-enlisted to fight the British. And I think that's probably why he got such a large... Uh, land grant there in Tennessee after the war. Uh, 
I know by eight, uh, 1780, he, he was there at Nashville and had that uh, land uh, granted to him. So, man, what a, what a uh, present that would be. Needless to say, he stayed there till he died. In 1821, he died there on that land. Oh yeah, here's a bridge. This bridge, this may be the same creek we went over earlier. See if it's big enough or if it's just another little creek. Look at this really quickly. I couldn't look off there. I was concentrating on staying on these runners. No, I think this is a different creek. This is a little small creek. Right here. It's not nearly as big as that other one was. Huh. Pretty though. It's got a rock bottom. Got a little waterfall right here, a little ledge it's coming off of. That's pretty sweet. Well, they're not hurting for water around here, that's for sure. All right. Let's continue forward. Man, I was way off on my distance to the to the river down here at Allison. I thought we'd have been here by now. Not complaining. Beautiful ride. Couldn't ask for a better day. Oh, well, looky here. We're back on more pavement. Got some big mountains beside us here. We're about to get down in it. Keep going down. Yep. Don't run off the road looking off the bluff here. Arrive alive. That is mission number one. Yeah, this is this is pretty nice right here. Trees are all covering over the road. Other than this radiator cooking my left leg, it's just pretty nice right here. Put my foot out here on the end of this foot peg and grab a little bit of air on my leg, at least till it stops smoking. Hey, we're getting close to the highway. I see a cell tower, a cell phone tower up here on the hill. I probably have cell service too. Yep, 5G. Ooh. I may have to stop and stream some YouTube videos. Here's the White River. How big is it? It's not as impressive here as it is upstream, I don't believe. Boy, it's low. You can tell it's really low. Boy, the water's low. I don't know I've, that I've seen it this low in a long time. That, that dock right there is, shoot, it's sitting in a mud puddle. I don't even know if you can get a boat in and out of that thing. Maybe a John boat. Pretty cool. It's an old house here on this bottom farm. This bottom field, old farmhouse, probably late 1800s, early 1900s, looks like. Pretty cool. All right, I think I'll stop and get a few pictures of that, get the big camera out. It's not uh, stunning, but, you know, it's the best we got right now. Feels pretty good until you stop. Boy, it don't take long.
go back over the current river or the white river here well that air feels good that is just really pretty big old bluff there I'll put a little drone footage up I've flown the drone down along through there really pretty Let's see, this is Calico Rock right here. The old downtown part from, this goes way back in time. Of course it burnt down two or three times throughout the history. The, the early buildings were all wood. And they got smart and went to making them out of rock, rock and concrete eventually. And those didn't burn down quite as those have hung around. They haven't burnt down. Between the buns, that's where I'm going to eat. <clears throat> Excellent. Boy, I tell you what, I didn't know if I was going to make it. I was afraid I was going to check out before I got here. I appreciate you all hanging out with me, checking out a little bit of the White River and some views off of the bluff there at City Bluff, really pretty. We took a nice ride down an old road along the, the river there down to Allison, uh, Arkansas. Uh, that was a really pretty ride and that bridge, that big high bridge over Sidlemore Creek, that was pretty nice. I appreciate you all hanging out with me. I invite you to come back and see me. We'll go somewhere and do something else. Till I catch up with you again, y'all take care of yourselves. We'll catch you next time.